my writing pals and my reading pals. It's me, your girl, Zanna, and today we are going to be talking about Book of the Month. So I generally, about every month, do a Book of the Month unboxing video. I think they're kind of fun. I like seeing what books people get. Um, I think in general people like seeing what other people are buying and doing things. Hauls have been incredibly popular since they kind of started around the holidays a handful of years ago, primarily in the beauty community. Since then, they've kind of spread everywhere, but you aren't here for a history on hauls, even though I could probably research and give you a pretty fun, decent video on them. Don't ask me, I'm not doing any research. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Book of the Month because I've touched on them in several of my unboxing videos, but I haven't ever like sat down to specifically talk about them and how I feel about them. And uh, two notes before we get started. First note, through the Violet Redwoods, my collection of short stories and poems, finally has a physical copy available. I had to redo the cover. Here you go. Here's the new cover. Busted my butt with Ingram's spark and everything. You can currently get the physical book on Barnes and Noble. Um, Amazon is to be determined at the moment because Amazon hates me. If you guys have followed my publishing journey at, at all, um, you've probably heard me rant about how much Amazon keeps screwing me over. So you can you can get my ebook from Amazon, no problem. Currently at this moment, Thursday the 11th of November 2021, when the physical book is releasing, Amazon doesn't have it up yet. They just it's just not the right one. They have one listed, but it's from one of those like weird third party sellers that like I don't think I would get any commission from and. I don't even know how they have a copy for more than the list price listed. It's $7.99. Currently, when I checked a couple of minutes ago, they had a copy listed for like $10. That's not me. Uh, second thing, I am not sponsored by Book of the Month. I have no ties with Book of the Month. I do have a referral code listed in the description box down below if you sign up for Book of the Month using that code. I get a free book. Uh, that's it. I don't get, a, you know, large monetary value from it. I'm not being sponsored by Book of the Month to talk about anything. They don't really know I exist other than the fact that I get their box shipped to my door every month. I'm not just like, you know, that was a cute transition, you know, I just stab it down on my clavicle, why don't I? Before I open my box and show you what I got, I want to talk about what Book of the Month is. Book of the Month is a monthly subscription service in which they send you a book every month. Uh, you have five books that you can choose from that are expertly curated from their list of curators. I don't know their full curating process. Um, from my understanding, usually it is an, uh, it's a combination of agents and authors like trying to sell their book to Book of the Month and then Book of the Month selecting from those lists, though they may reach out to some people to see if they can acquire that title. They definitely have other versions of, you know, like special edition versions of books. I know that they have uh, Ready Player One. They have some classics, things like that on their website. So in addition to one of the five books that you can pick from every month, they have add-ons that you can either purchase for an additional fee, or if you have multiple credits on your account, you can use a credit that you have towards an add-on book. I believe you can get up to two add-ons per box. They have a range and wide variety of books that they procure every month along with just in their general log of books that are um, for their add-ons. Uh, there is usually always like a, a historical, a romance, a non-fiction, uh, there's been a lot of thrillers, I've noticed, thrillers, um, murder mysteries, horror, things in that general category, because I know that's a very wide category that I have learned recently. Uh, a lot of things get shoved into that category. It's kind of like how fantasy gets generalized. I feel like thriller has been getting generalized the more I learn about thrillers. But yeah, they got that. Um, every once in a while they have a fantasy and a YA as well. So they, they touch on a very wide variety of books. I know that there are some book subscription services that are very specific to genre. Like I think Owl Crate is uh, primarily fantasy and sci-fi probably. I think Fairy Loot is also uh, fantasy sci-fi, uh, sci but um, 
I think those boxes, they come with a book. You don't get to choose what book it is. They have themed things every month. So with Book of the Month, you pick your book um, with like Fairy Loot and Owl Crate and things like that. I believe it is. There's a theme for that month. There is a book for that month. There's fun loot in it, uh, hence the name like Fairy Loot. Um, and that's what you get. Um, I think Book of the Month is the least expensive of all of them because there theirs is just a book whereas with the other things again the only other two i really know are owl crate and fairy loot i think they're a little bit pricier i've seen people resell their fairy loot editions for 50 to 100 something dollars not that every book every box costs that much i think their boxes cost about 50 dollars um I can look it up and throw the price here on the screen for those two if I really care, but I'm mainly talking about book of the month right now, so I mean I guess it's good info for you to compare from. Do I like book of the month? Yeah, they're fine. It's a perfectly good book subscription service. Do I pick a book every month? No. Are you penalized if you don't pick a book? No. You are allowed to skip a month anytime you want. You can also pause your credits if you're you know, you've built up a lot of credits if you've skipped a handful of months through the year and you're like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use these credits and I'm gonna wait to use them up. I believe that you can pause your subscription for a handful of months or so and it will automatically renew. And I, there is no penalty for doing that. There is no penalty for skipping a month. There is no penalty for using multiple credits at once. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty straightforward book subscription service. In general, it's a really good subscription service. I think they do a really good job tagging their books as well. They try to give the best descriptors in the description boxes that they can. They usually have, um, they have like a list of pins that they use, icons that they use to describe things in books. And then, you know, they have a short description next to it. So the 400 plus means that there are 400 plus pages. You know, they have different symbols for different types of romances and love stories. Um, Things about thriller, they will note trigger and content warning in the in the spoiler section or uh, things, you know, if they there is content that um, the author has chosen to to put a warning for. I think I think that's up to the authors or rather the marketing team for the author's discretion. If they are a traditionally published author, it's probably their marketing team doing all of that. But yeah, that is a good old basic rundown of Book of the Month. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, most of the time you can get a code to join for like $9.99 or something like that. I don't know if my referral code that I have in the description box is a $9.99 or $14.99. It's one of those two prices. It's been forever since I signed up. I'm not sure what they're doing. I, I pay when I pay. This is a very, I'm sick. So this is a lax video. You're getting very chill Xana, which is very different than my bubbly Xana. I even think my voice is lower than I usually talk. This is my normal talking voice probably. Toned down a little bit because of nasal congestion. Um, also thanks for everyone for being understanding last week when I had strep and couldn't talk because I didn't upload last week. Uh, just throwing that out there. I have. I have a small amount of followers, but don't, don't want to follow me. They're great, and I love them, and you're all wonderful. Let's get into my bookish box, and I'll show you guys what we got inside. So while I open this, because I didn't do it before I started filming, I'll just ask you guys some questions. How is your Halloween? Do you celebrate Halloween? Did you get candy? Did you go buy candy on November 1st? Um... Are you excited for Thanksgiving if you haven't celebrated it yet? I know Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving before Halloween, which then means that they can decorate for Christmas whenever they want to. But honestly, Thanksgiving hasn't stopped me from decorating for Christmas early, and it most likely never will. Um, yeah, those are my questions. How was your Halloween? You Thanksgiving? What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I love turkey. I like making turkey and desserts. The turkey and desserts. Oh, and rolls. Ooh. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, let's open this thing. I don't like that um, their logo is down here, but the lip flap is up here, so you can't just like open it into it. And da 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 da. Nintendo, don't come for me. 
I got The Keeper of Night. This book is, I think it's a YA, it's either a YA or a fantasy. So it comes with the book. The book doesn't ever have any protective packaging. Uh, my corner is dented. That is fine. That is a small little problem that I am not going to gripe about. They always come with a bookmark. It always usually has a cute little phrase. This one says, life is hard covers. It's kind of cute. The box itself just has a cute little box icon in it and it always says, you've got great taste. Um, I save all my boxes just because I know when I move, I can, I can, um, all my special books, books that I really want to keep protected, I can um, protect them in these boxes and they also are just good for in general storing things. They're a really nice size. Um, and I also have a lot of bonfires. So like I need cardboard. So Book of the Month is a great subscription service box to get cardboard. I got Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker. This book looked interesting. It sounded interesting. Fun fact, I got an ad for Book of the Month on Facebook and they had the description for Keeper of Night on the, in the um, info box and on the like shop click tab. But the book that they were displaying was uh, The Love Hypothesis. And so I thought, I thought it was pretty funny. If I still have a screenshot, I'll throw it up right here. And maybe over here I'll throw like the correct version because I think I took a screenshot of that too. If I didn't, oh well. Um, here's the back. I don't think they, they put blurbs on the back sometimes. That's nice to see, a nice description. Um, so this book follows a girl who is both a reaper and a shinigami. Um, she works primarily in London harvesting souls, but then the people in London are like, yo, you're not like entirely a reaper, you also are a shinigami. So we don't like you because of your name difference. Um, so she goes to Japan and she's trying to like work under the goddess of death or something like that. That's my understanding before reading the front cover flap. Half British Reaper, half Japanese Shinigami. Ren Scarbor has been collecting souls in the London streets for centuries, expected to obey the harsh hierarchy of the Reapers who despise her due to her mysterious mother and even more mysterious Shinigami powers. Ren conceals her emotions and avoids her tormentors as best she can. Honey, you and me both. When her failure to control her developing Shinigami abilities drives Ren out of London, she flees to Japan in search of the acceptance she's never gotten from her fellow Reapers. Accompanied by her younger brother, the only being on Earth to care for her, Ren enters Yomi, the Japanese underworld, to serve the Goddess of Death, only to learn that here, too, she must prove herself worthy. Determined to earn respect, Ren accepts an impossible task, find and eliminate three dangerous yokai demons. With the help from her only brother, that's a double space. With the help from only her brother and a new ally who might be less than trustworthy, Ren will learn how far she'll go to claim her place at death's side. My light just died. I don't think I care enough to to plug it in. I, I think it looks fine. We just got a more mellow vibe. But yes, um, it sounds pretty interesting. The book sounded really good. It looks really pretty too. I like kind of the, you can't see it very well because my light's dead, the kind of stringy, like the art's made up of just like lines. It's really pretty except for the eyes and part of the obi and maybe they're lines, but they're just really small. Who knows? Anyways, um, yeah. Book of the Month always does a really good job with the quality of their books. Um, their hardcovers are always nice. Oh, mine inside is dented. I wish that they would, I wish that they would protect the books in the boxes. That is um, one of my gripes is that these books are not protected by anything in the box. They're just free floating in a box. They aren't even snug in the box. So I would, I would like if these books had protection because you know it's it's a thing you want your books to be nice it's a dented corner it's not the end of the world but at the same time it just feels kind of frustrating that with a little bit of packaging that those things could be avoided um so that's one of my gripes with book of the month 
I honestly do think that's my only gripe, really. Because I don't really think there's really anything else to gripe about. They do a really good job getting a wide variety of books that a wide variety of readers would like every month. And even though I don't find a book every month, that doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just it didn't appeal to my taste that moment. But they do a really good job. So overall, I think Book of the Month is a good subscription service. I originally got Book of the Month to test a bunch of different book subscription services here on YouTube. Um, a lot of the other ones are just really expensive though and I haven't necessarily been able to afford them yet. Um, I'm working some new jobs and I have my own editing company now, uh, Nightshade Publishing, and I have a book out. So like maybe I'll be able to do like a fairy loot or owl crate book box subscription thing coming up soon. But anyways, those are my general thoughts on Book of the Month as a whole. This is the book I got. I'm excited to read it. Um, I need to find a spot for it on my shelf. Maybe this will go on my red shelf because it's got some red and then I, I'll keep the dust jacket on because I usually store with dust jackets on, but the spine is also red. So this could go on my, my red section of my bookshelf. I keep buying books, guys. I have a problem, but I don't need help for it. Please don't try and stop me. In fact, send me some cool book recommendations. I like books. I want to buy another bookshelf, but I don't have enough books to buy another bookshelf yet. So I need to get more books in order to get a bookshelf. But I also don't want to spend a lot of money on books right now. So those are some problems that I will solve somehow. Yeah. I think that's it. Go check out Through the Violet Redwoods. I'm doing a hard sell on this because I'm tired and I kind of just want to go take my makeup off and like take a nap before I have to go to the doctor. So check out Through the Violet Redwoods. I'll have links for it in the description down below. Again, you can get a physical copy from Barnes & Noble and you can get ebook copies from Amazon and Barnes & Noble. I haven't figured out how to do Google Play yet. I'll spend time later and figure that out if people want my book from Google. Um. I'll let you know when the physical copy goes live. Again, Amazon keeps screwing me over, so maybe I'll just like never tell people to buy my book from Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm just frustrated, y'all. Um, anywho, I think that just about wraps things up. My name is Anna Renee. You can find me on pretty much any social media platform. You can find me on pretty much any social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Zana Renee. You can support me on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Zana's Books. Why did I say Zana Renee earlier? No, my socials are Zana's Books. I'm, I'm at Zana's Books pretty much everywhere. Except my brain, cause I'm tired. I've lost brain power. I filmed though, and I should be able to get this up pretty easily. This has gone on long enough. This is the book I got. Here's my book. Go buy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.